Hey, I'm Rachel Granger with Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're at the Vanity Fair L'Oreal Paris pre-Oscar party. My Good goodness. to see you. It's Oscar nice week. One. Everybody's seeing everybody all the yeah, time. Indeed. So this looks great. I love this. Thank you. And I, my favorite part right now is when you just cross the street. You were just like, excuse me. Yeah. Excuse I mean, me. Yeah. It was my favorite. I was like, I wish I had the balls to cross the street like that. When you're here, you do whatever you want. Oh, my God. Yeah, right? <laughs> you're like, uh, have you seen? You know what I'm known for, right? Like, the hero thing. It's like... <laughs> so out of honestly though, when I think about that, I think you've got your hero's power was to not to stop everyone else's power. I feel oh like that God, might that be the he, most that he was thinking he's gonna follow me for life, which I don't mind actually. You know, no, but, but you're but, so multi-dimensional. Uh, I mean, he, obviously, he, he, he yes. Is, he is. He was, and uh, you know, it was a great power to have. Uh, it was fun, man. It was fun I, to be on set, uh, doing that, using that power, but also to be with all the other guys. Uh, especially Jack Coleman, you know, with whom you know we came back for yeah, yeah, yeah. for he was reborn, and um, and yeah, so that that, that, that was good. But so, uh, to stay current, let's stay with this year and totally. what's happening. And yeah. So tell me, so tell me a little bit about what you're loving uh, to see when you go to the theaters. Like, what really moves you in a film? What really like tugs at your heartstrings when you're looking at a film? You know what? I mean, not just because I was part of it, but I think Joy was actually a pretty pretty interesting movie. Good movie, very inspiring for the ladies, yeah, for the I girls. Loved it. I loved it. And and Jennifer Lawrence did an excellent job uh, once again I think so yeah those kind of movies based from true story movies that you can relate to somehow touch me uh, yeah my the human core you know can relate to to those kind of yeah, stories it's just the authentic connection to a real human struggle that's really exactly. gonna bring it bring yeah. it forth when you're you know when you're looking at scripts and you know that kind of stuff have you ever thought about writing producing directing is that kind of direction you want to go in or do you kind of want to stay to create other stories on film still I think we all do somehow because kind of because we're a bit frustrated with what we get a lot of the time so true. the little idea in the back of our, our mind saying like wait I want to do my own thing you know very true yeah but anyway I've, I've directed a couple of things one being a documentary called Jimmy Goes to Nollywood and it's actually available on Netflix. I've as heard of, about it. I think it's uh, in yeah. my queue actually. You I think see? I have it saved. Here yeah. Oh, So that Perfect. was directed by me. Excellent. Uh, but no, I've produced a couple of stuff. Uh, one movie uh, that should be coming out at the end of the year, it's called uh, Everything But A Man, you know, which talks about the frustration of some of the black American women, wow. especially the successful one, yeah. to find the right partner. So, you know. And, yes. Uh, yeah. I can. It, it that strikes a chord on multiple levels with me. Yeah. It's like absolutely. And last question, um, I ask everybody because I haven't seen it yet personally, and I really want a great direct feedback. Have you seen Beasts of No Nation yet? Yes, I have. Yeah. Hi, you're the first person I've talked to that oh, has. Really? Yeah, I'm. I'm so moved by it. I mean, obviously, it seems silly to ask what you felt, but I mean, if you can try to sum it up, I mean, what did that film mean to you? How did you feel when you watched it? Uh, for me, it, it's just uh, a real tragedy, and uh, we just let it unfold in front of us. Uh, yes, it was a very small personal story of that boy living out there, being enrolled in that situation. Yeah. And I think it's, it all comes down to us as, you know, people making up society. Yeah. Uh, and we're like, it's like I have to look at myself and see how can I allow that kind of situation to happen because it's some of our actions that cause that kind of reaction. So, so yeah, it was, it was really well done, you know, well directed, well acted, you know, by both Abraham and Idris Elba. And Carrie did an excellent job directing as well. So I would encourage everybody to actually take a look at it because it's based on true events, true stories. So, you know, those kind of things still happen, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's, it's awful. It's awful. Yeah, it's, pain yeah, it's really yeah. painful to watch, but it's yeah, definitely... Yeah. Um, well, great. Have a great night. It was great to see you. Thank and you uh, I'm, uh, I'm really excited to watch the documentary you have yeah, in my queue yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, it's indeed. great to see you. Yes, have nice a great one. night. Nice. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you've seen here, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what you're hoping for on Oscar Sunday for Best Picture.